What is G-Sync? That is something that we get asked quite a bit. Uh, in short, it is a technology to improve the responsiveness and the smoothness of the images on your monitor. Uh, it's really special technology and it requires a completely separate board that's built into your monitor to support it. And that's true whether it is an NVIDIA G-Sync panel or it is a FreeSync panel, which these cards now also support. Uh, G-Sync is different than V-Sync, which you've probably seen in most games. Uh, what V-Sync does is it takes the refresh rate of your monitor which in most cases is going to be about 60 hertz and it makes sure that the graphics card is locked to 60 hertz output uh, the problem with that is is that it adds additional latency because it'll only synchronize to the following frame not to the current frame and it also becomes an issue if your graphics card cannot maintain a smooth 60 fps a lot of games these days are very intensive and if you were to drop down into the 50s or the 40s uh, what you would notice is a jerkiness caused by a difference in the frame time that the graphics card is providing versus the frame time that your monitor wants at 60 hertz a solution then is is to turn off vsync altogether and what you end up with is very very little latency very very fast responses great if you're doing uh, first person shooters or competitive gaming uh, the problem is is because your graphics card and your monitor are no longer drawing frames at the same time uh, you will end up with a lot of torn lines across the screen known as screen tearing uh, what g-sync does is it makes it so that the monitor and the graphics card can communicate to one another. And what it does is, is there is a time after a frame is completed called a V-blank. Uh, the V-blank is a time interval that controls when does this frame finish and the next one begins. And by just adjusting that V-blank ever so slightly, you can actually make it so that the monitor can wait until the graphics card is ready to provide that next frame. Now normally the graphics card is a slave to the monitor. If the monitor wants to run at 60 hertz, it's going to run at 60 hertz no matter what, and the graphics card just has to kind of go along with it or you're gonna get Terry. With G-Sync it's totally different. Because there is a board in there and because they're communicating to one another, the monitor will not do what it needs to do until the graphics card tells it that that next frame is ready. And that is why the two can stay synchronized, hence G-Sync, or the G is G-Force, so it's G-Force synchronized. It's synchronizing your monitor and your graphics card together. And because the output from the graphics card is matched to the monitor and it is done on the current frame, uh, the input lag from the mouse is dramatically less and you get a very smooth uh, playback of video because every frame matches a frame that was rendered by the graphics card. So there's no skips or jumps in time. Uh, so I'm going to show you here how do you enable it. Now this is actually a FreeSync monitor, um, but after a recent update, uh, the, the NVIDIA graphics cards would, can now support these monitors and give you that great uh, G-Sync experience that's kind of rolled into the G-Sync family. Um, getting a true G-Sync monitor will give you a little bit of a better experience, um, but you may already have one of these monitors, and so the way to enable it is exactly the same. We want to go into the NVIDIA control panel. And if you're in the 3D settings, which I believe is the default, you'll see that monitor technology says fixed refresh. And you can also change that to G-Sync compatible. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to set up G-Sync. We're gonna tell it to enable G-Sync. And then we wanna make sure that for a monitor that is not officially supported as a G-Sync monitor, that you check this box that says enable settings for the selected display model. And it will tell you that this is not a valid G-Sync compatible display. Um, but again, uh, with this update, it will still work and it will still give you that uh, smooth playback experience that you're looking for. Go ahead and hit apply. The screen will black out and then it'll come back. If you go back to manage 3D settings, you'll see that this setting has changed to G-Sync compatible. So it is showing this as a G-Sync monitor, and that's really all you have to do. It's very simple. Anytime the game goes full screen, the monitor will now synchronize itself to the output of the graphics card, and the two will communicate. And what you will notice is, is less input lag and a really pleasant experience. So if you've never tried a G-Sync monitor, um, the prices on these are getting really good. It's definitely worth a shot, and I use one personally, and I think the technology is really, really awesome. So hopefully this helps you guys kind of figure out what is G-Sync and how to enable it. Uh, we're, we'll be bringing you more useful how-to videos in the near future. You have a good one. End up with is a non-torn frame in a very fast... Hello, Jacob. Are you okay? <laughs>
Yeah. All right. Oh, man, you're in that whole cut, pretty much. Yes. 